After five years selling Subaru parts, it was time to buy Forester SG. And what is a better place to shoot it at? The forest. The place this car was named after. I have owned this car since last week and so far I consider it one of the best cars I ever had. So this is a naturally aspirated Forester with a 2 liter engine, 125 horsepower. The car is not mint, rusty hardware, mm, as a matter of fact, there are bits I had mint replacements for, but I threw them away because nobody needed them. Well I do. I do need them now. And you know, this pole, I had like three of them. Mint. Oh my god, what have I done? Broken plastic is normal, I suppose. Leaves come standard in those cars. Gotta clean this every now and then. Well, it's not perfect, but it's still good. It's almost 20 years old, after all. Left door hinges are bad. Hear that? Gonna fix that. Of course there are scratches. My headlight washer is missing. Someone is good at parking it seems. Faded emblem. Hail dance on the hood. Rear wiper is missing. Drum brakes in the back. Well, these are in the mod list too. The interior is clean. It's super clean. Three useful goggle holders for standard and for the sunglasses. Oh, this is a nice accessory. Well, not available in America. Small cubby that I don't like too much. Oh, do you know what that is? LPG. Liquefied propane gas. Here, let me show you. Ooh, rare and dirty Forester trunk mat. Oh, there it is. Gas is like gas, not gasoline. And this is a chamber for it, whole 45 liters. Locals call it gas. And that thing is like twice cheaper than standard petrol slash gasoline. I'm not going to say it was the crucial buying factor, but I suppose I already did. Now let's drive this thing. You know, before this I had a legacy and it wasn't nearly as good as this car is in snow. It just ignores the properties of snow. It's like Forrester and snow are best friends. Hey snow, can you let me pass this hill? Sure boy, there you go. Driving this thing in snow is pure pleasure. I feel happy as I haven't been in a long time. If I had a lowered Forester, I would probably buy another one just for this winter off-roading and actually off-roading in general. There are places you will never go with standard cars. Forester? Yeah, I mean after all this car was literally named after a forest. This hill was a bit of a challenge and for a second I asked myself, are we going to make it? Never doubt the Forester. Never. Then during the adventure I kind of got lost, but then turned my head to the left and realized we're 100 meters from the highway we got here. And after about 3 minutes we were driving back to install some cool mods. First thing on the list was windscreen washer nozzles. These things are not efficient at all. So I went to storage to dig through some stuff to get a GDM hood with legit jet nozzles. There it is, the 04 Cross Sports hood. For a moment I thought, what if it has standard nozzles as well? Nah, that's them. Got the bubble wrap, just figure the nozzle gets lower, yeah, in there. 
Nope. The hose won't pop if you just pull it, not even hard. <laughs> Moving it a little with a the screwdriver. There we go. Now there are two clips on the nozzle you should push to get it out. Pop the hood. Pop the hoses. Nozzles out. Here's the difference. You know, Japanese fellas, they always had the best bit. Nozzles in and connect the hoses back. Same with the left and close the hood. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. These things are so good. Barely pushing the button and the whole windshield is covered. Perfect. And these things, well, they go where they belong. Now the armrest. I can fit my charger in there. That's good, but I have something better. This is a double-decker cubby that should fit here. It has one extra compartment for my precious thingies. Now with the help of a mint Subaru screwdriver, I'm removing the old lid and hopefully never putting it back. Now is the moment I've been waiting for so long. Well, wait a second. It doesn't fit. Are you serious? Anyway, putting it on, cause the holes match and who will stop me anyway? Now I must deal with this button. Take that thing off, pull the screws out. Uh, you are out, my friend. That clip should be on the cover. Oh, ah, it fell under the seat. <laughs> Got it. Clip is back. Okay, finally. Wait. No. You can't be serious. I thought it would work. So I can close it, but it doesn't fix. So I can close it back. If I want to open. Oh, yeah. I can open this one. Uh, okay, so basically I have the function, but... It doesn't close properly, but so basically you need the like this piece or this piece different, I suppose, or something. Maybe this piece here different, but yeah. So I kind of failed this one, but uh, well, I have double decker now. Let's see what it fits. Okay, hand sanitizer, screwdriver, paper invoice, civic key, iPhone XR, and a wallet. Don't forget the charger. Get in, you snake. Comfort test. Feels good. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Oh, what do we have here? A cubby. I'm going to sanitize my hands. That car is so comfortable now, thanks to the cubby I have installed. I think my earbuds should be charged. On my way home, I was playing with my new nozzles. Just couldn't help myself. Look how good. <laughs> 